Good morning from Wakehall. In this video I'm going to be exploring the area of Wakehall, starting here at the train station. I've chosen to come to Wakehall because it seems to be such a gap in the map of Brisbane. It's here and I don't really know the area all that well and I'm fascinated to learn more about it. So before I get started, Wakehall is not really a word. It's not a word that exists in English or in any indigenous language. The W-A-C-O-L just apparently means weighing the coal because here at the train station, it's right behind me there, this is where the coal trains would come in and they would transfer coal or something and they would weigh it. They would weigh the coal so it became known as weigh coal. So the name weigh coal is what we call a port, portman, port, portmanteau, this is the word. I don't know how to pronounce it but that's what the word is, it's, it's taking two parts of other words and putting them together. Now originally it was called Wollstone train station after the farmhouse which is up that way, I'm going to take a look at that later. But apparently people got confused with the name Wollston here and Wilston train station over on the north side of Brisbane. So they changed the name from Wollston train station to Wacol. Uh, which way to go? That way. Oh wait. I forgot my umbrella. While I'm walking around this area, there's one thing I'm thinking of. All this bushland here, a lot of it looks like it's fairly, I wouldn't say new growth, but it's not, it's not primordial woodland. I'm just wondering if this area was much more open in the past, you know, decades gone by for, because I know there was a lot of dairying here in the area. I wonder if this was all just open grassland for, for grazing and, uh, and the bushland's been able to grow again. said hello and she asked me um like just being friendly um, what are you up to today what, what sort of what's your day like because she was saying what a beautiful day it was and i said oh i'm on a sightseeing tour of wacol and she laughed at that she said i don't think anybody's ever said those words in one sentence ever but maybe they should come for a sightseeing tour of wacol this is really interesting and i say that in this particular reason right now because as i'm leaving the rspca right across the road is a prison The RSPCA facility here is um, impressive, it really is. It's not just adoption there, but there's a, a pet superstore on that side over there. And I can see from up here, there's a thing called Sensory Walk, which I, I won't go into. I guess it's something for dogs to run around in. I'm not sure, but there's an op shop as well over there. Giftware and all sorts of things, beautifully set out. There's lawns for, for animals to run around in. They're really looked after here. I don't, I don't know anything about prisons, I've never, definitely never been in one and I can't imagine what life would be like for the inmates. It's one of those things you, prisons, we know prisons exist, but it's not something you ever, you don't walk past every day. Like is that, would that be a maximum security prison? Or is it minimum security? I don't know how they work it, I don't even know which one it is. Oh, 
What's this? I remember when I came here about a year and a half or so ago and at that time the entry was free now it's ten dollars to get in I don't mind paying it definitely it helps supports local history and the preservation of places like this but yeah it's interesting that it's now um, ten bucks which it should be really there should be an entry fee for something like this now please watch your staff All right, leaving Wollstone Farmhouse and back out on the road. Um, glorious day still, 26 degrees, not a cloud in the sky, there's one. Well, there's one cloud in the sky. It's absolutely beautiful out here on this glorious day. So industrial looking, so bunker-like and impersonal and clinical and strange vision in the landscape, not something you are used to seeing. You can hear someone yelling and laughing. Just here at the golf course, and the hill I'm standing on is Termination Hill in 1823 when John Oxley was surveying the river. He got as far as this point on that journey and he came up onto this hill here. It became known as Termination Hill. It was the termination of his journey this far along the river. There's a little mask lapwing having a bit of a fit because I'm here. It must have a nest right there. Strange birds because they lay their nest on the ground. So this um, Dr. Stephen Simpson, this was the side of his house. It says outbuildings and border police barracks. So the border police barracks, that would have been frontier wars I suppose the hostilities and uh, whatnot between the European settlers and the indigenous people uh, here I think the the fighting was further west and south from here but this was a police barracks at least that's a, that's really fascinating and his house was here so dr. Stephen Simpson he looks like a barrel of laughs doesn't he and he's the guy who built Walston house beautiful spot here in a bend in the river so much history here and now it's a lovely golf course. I've just been over to the mental hospital and there's the very old women's 
headquarters facility. It's long derelict, but it's thousands of people have visited it. But I was told by security that they don't allow anyone anywhere near it. You can't go, which is really strange because so many people have. Um, I mean, I went there once a few years ago and people were walking around, they were walking their dogs. And now it's this massive no-go zone. You can't go anywhere near it. So, but uh, look, I understand. It's a, it's you know, patients may be walking around. I get it, but people are still visiting it. That was disappointing. That something that is part of Brisbane history, Brisbane people aren't allowed to go and look at. Anyway, I'm in the middle of a golf course. So I might go and uh, move along. This here used to be known as Camp Columbia. It was established in 1942. It was a base for American soldiers and servicemen. There goes a big magpie. I don't think he's interested. And then later on, it was taken over by the Australian Army. And then after that, sometime later, it became a place for migrants coming out to Australia, mainly from, from the UK and from, from Europe. So they were housed here for, for many years. And I believe after that, it became a place for national service. Young men doing their national service stint and it had some sort of record it was the largest national service camp in the country and i thought it was going to be open today but it isn't it all looks uh, bolted and padlocked i was really hoping to get in because i think they've got a museum of some sort in there but not to be the whole area that the camp occupied was quite massive it goes way 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 back there across the other side of the highway as it is today and the Arthur Gorry Correctional Centre, which is privately owned, and I understand quite a rough one uh, from what I was reading in some of my research, a lot of overcrowding there, that was on the grounds of this camp as well. So it was extensive grounds, but I can't get in. Hmm. There's plaques galore, and I can't read them. The other side of the highway here in Wakehall is because the suburb is on both sides of the highway for, for a certain stretch. This side is the industrial side. The other side is the, the RSPCA and the prisons and the Walston farmhouse. It's dead quiet though. I'm sure it's really busy on a weekday, but today these big wide roads and it's all clean and nice and there's no traffic. What's this say? Welcome to Brisbane's Western Business District. So it's all being developed here. You can, I can see out in the distance all the, the land being divided up and we've got the road going through and roundabouts and ready for the new businesses which undoubtedly are not too far away from being built here oh here we go what's this land for sale 20 lots and this seems to be maybe i, I guess the original township of wakehall here there's some shops here everything's closed there's a snack bar over there they look open but otherwise it's a pretty dead place here Wakehold Central Snack Bar. Some trucks over there. Another snack bar. Although this one is closed. A little bit of urban exploring, which I'm not adverse to. It looks like an old garage. And it looks as if something else existed down here in the past. There's some foundations here. Well, I think that about does it for my visit to Wakehall. It's, I must say, a very strange part of Brisbane. It's it doesn't seem to be one thing or another. It's like all the things that Brisbane doesn't want are here. Like the, the mental asylum, the, you know, the mental health hospital, the prisons. It, it feels very shut away from the rest of Brisbane. It doesn't feel like it's, it's integrated with, with everything else. It's because you've got the big highway there and that's almost like the barrier and beyond that. And I know with the, um, the mental hospital, certainly back in the 19th century that the, the terrible things that happened there that that I've read about and I won't go through them you can look it up for yourself but at that the old building that I wanted to film but it couldn't because security said then no one's allowed there 
just horrendous things that went on there. I don't know. And the prisons, of course. That's There's five prisons there. And all of them have their own stories of pain and desperation and regret and whatever else people feel when they're in prison. But it's unfortunate that with with that old mental hospital, and I don't want to bang on about this too much, but people do want to go and see it because it is so fascinating and it's a part of Brisbane history and yet it's off limits to to everyone. Now I didn't want to go inside, I just wanted to to look around the perimeter, but no, you can't go there. Maybe do something with it, do it up, make it a museum or separate it a bit maybe from the rest of the the, the mental hospital. People do go there a lot to visit it and they're turned away. People go in illegally and get busted. Sightseeing in Wacol. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learnt a little bit more about Wacol. I certainly did. And if you like the video and uh, the channel, please consider subscribing and give the video a like. And I'll see you again soon.